The point is what gives that seed that power to create such a flower. And you begin to see the miracle and wonder all around you. Why? Because you're open. You're allowed yourself to see. Okay, that seeing is what liberates you from bondage and brings freedom. Because you begin to see that everything that you thought was real about you is made up of facades, veneers, put-ons, so social uh, protocols, uh, ideas, how things should be, you see? You begin to see everything is just a play. And this begins to drop. And that's how there's the flowering, you see? The flowering of that emptiness, the flowering of, of freedom. So the word is seeing, you see? And seeing is immediate. So as we're talking, you cannot say, well, I'm going to see what Bert was talking about by listening to the tape again. Well, it could happen, yes, because it, it's, it's at that moment as you listen. But it, it has to be done at that moment. That's what seeing is. Seeing is at that very moment, as it is happening. Seeing can be in time. You cannot see in time. You can only see now. When you look clearly. Um, is that clear? about seeing. Seeing is the only thing you can do, you cannot do anything. <clears throat> is seeing uh, awareness or awareness realized thing? Even though there's not a realizer, but it's like knowing Knowing without knowing what you know, I don't know how to say that. Being, uh, being aware. Be aware, okay. Is that, is that the same as seeing? Being aware? Um, yes, yes and no. Um, it, it's, it's semantics here. Uh, you can be aware of something. I'm aware that the chair is there. Right. But to see the chair to see it, then it takes, it takes on, why do we call it a chair? Immediately, the moment you hear the word chair, you have a, oh, there's a structure where, where I sit for comfort, and it's made up, but really, look at it, it's just a jumble of little things that we so you put mean together, right? Direct experience of God to God. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah you're, you're looking at things as they really are which of course takes on a completely new new way of seeing. And in seeing, there is one thing that happens. In seeing, you see how little you see all the time, because there's more and more and more. And it's so vast, and it's all unknowable. And that's, so you're plunging into the unknown all the time. It's taking you deeper and deeper into your true nature, which of course going deeper does not mean going you know, we think in terms of going deeper someplace. Going deeper means becoming more and more who you are. Your natural self, your fundamental natural self. So you're talking about seeing the same as observing, to observe? Uh, observing, it takes an observer. So uh, even though that word I've used very often, but I find that if you, some people have taken it as if, oh, I'm going to observe, there's two. Okay, in seeing there are no two. For me to appreciate the beauty of that, I have to disappear. As long as I, I think I'm seeing it, then I'm going back as a botanist and say, well, it's a lily, well, it's this, well, it's that. My mind takes over. But to really see it, the mind has to go. So seeing is one. You see, whereas an observer takes, you know, the observer and an observed. So when I used to say, observe your thoughts, many people have misunderstood. And I got so many emails and people and said, but when I observe my thoughts, <clears throat> you see, they still don't go away and this happens and that happens. They're still creating a duality. So I realized, no, the word seeing is perfect. And th there is no seer, there's just seeing. And that means that when you look at it, you're not looking at it with your own agenda. You're not looking at it with your own thoughts or with your likes and dislikes, or good or bad, you just see it. And then you begin to see it's, 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 it's magic, it's power. You see, what created that? I mean, what, what, what creates anything of nature? It's just there. 
So even awe has a quality. So seeing in the is quality less. Is quality less like yeah. So it's the it's the freedom to um, to see and have and everything else is 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 um, just passes through the container. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you become pure seeing. See, I've noticed sometimes even in satsang here, you know, I've seen some people, they listen so well that they disappear in their seeing. And then they say, oh, I had a beautiful feeling, I had a high feeling, I had this. Because it's not the words that do it. It's your, it's your listening, when there is no listener. So when, there, when listening becomes complete, as if you disappear, you see, then there is that, that feeling automatically comes. And this is what happens with seeing. Seeing automatically is an upliftment. It's automatic. You see, it raises you. It raises your vibrations tremendously. But as long as there is a seer, there is you in control. And you're seeing it, well, yeah, it's nice, but, well, you know, there's judgment, there's... But to, to see something, there's none of that. There's just seeing. And then there's a... It's just like when you... Um, I guess you can say you're watching a movie, and it's a, an incredibly well-acted movie. So real, so... And you become involved in it, and you begin to... And all of a sudden, you're so involved that you begin to feel um, the, the pain or the joy of the person in love or you know of the character or whatever you can you can feel it at that moment so you've disappeared temporarily and become that see so this is sort of uh, a way of just to give an example about seeing so seeing is a disappearing act of you in order for you to just be seeing and then you're looking with with clear eyes <clears throat> so, are there any questions? <clears throat>